you recognize this town, this could be your town. It's just an average town in an average farming community. We'll call it Henderson because that's really its name. Henderson, USA. Like any other town, Henderson has its city hall, its fire department, high school, its main street, and people. Like any other town, the people of Henderson don't all live inside the city limits. In fact, many of its most important people live out in the surrounding community, like Bob, for instance. We'll call him Bob because that is his name. The businessmen of Bob's town are important in Bob's way of life. And he is just as important to them. But while Bob does business with many places in his town, the most important of all is the feed and farm supply store. The things he buys there go a long way in determining the kind of living he and his family enjoy. Take this Purina store, for instance. This could be any Purina store in any average town serving the needs of people like Bob. But wait a minute. This isn't just any Purina store in any average town. This looks like a profitable and successful Purina store, and it is. Last month, this dealer shipped nearly 11 cars of Purina Chows. Well, other Purina dealers sell 11 cars of Purina Chows a month, so why is this store so unusual? Here's why. A year ago, this business didn't even exist. Bob and the other farmers around Henderson had been able to buy Purina Chows from the former Purina dealer a friendly, likable dealer whose policy was to sell his customers what they asked for. He took what business came his way. But his store wasn't devoted to helping his customers increase their profits. His customers got about the same production from their hens, their cows, their livestock, year in and year out. This dealer was content with one car of business a month. Of course, lots of dealers ship one car a month. But listen, in this same market, with the same needs, the same livestock and poultry, the same farmers, an aggressive dealer with a helpful, customer-minded attitude and a vision of the far-reaching needs of farmers like Bob, is now shipping nearly 11 cars of Purina Chows a month. The true story of the amazing growth of this business might sound fantastic, but it isn't. It could happen in your town. How this business grew from one car the first month to nearly 11 cars a month during the first year is a story of unusual interest to every Purina dealer and every feeder. The story can best be told by a man we like to call A.J., because that's his name and because this is a true story. But maybe we'd better let A.J. tell a story. Well, you might call it my story, but I like to call it the story of a lot of people working together. You see, I was born on a farm. And then, years ago, I bought a place near Henderson to raise livestock. There were seven feed stores in Henderson, but I bought Purina from the Purina dealer because I found that feeding Purina made me more money. And while I could get all the feed I wanted, none of the feed dealers had given me the help I needed with my feeding and management problems. Their interest in me and all my neighbors ended when they sold us a bag of feed. Finally, I decided to do something about it. I talked to Arch, the Purina salesman. I told him of the farmer's need for service in this district and how I had decided to do something about it. Arch told me there might be an opportunity for me to get the Purina franchise in this market. I was tremendously impressed with all the helps Purina gives its dealers. Arch told me just what Purina expected its dealers to do and what the dealer could expect from Purina. He told me over and over again that only by doing all of the things in the Purina Checkerdale Manual 
could I expect to reach the goal I had set for myself. I had my share of trouble. It wasn't an easy matter to find the right location, get the capital, and build the kind of store I needed. But finally, we got set up. I was in business. We laid out the sales room according to Purina specifications. In accordance with the Checkerdale Manual, we put out plenty of chows and other merchandise, arranged by departments with open bags, and making good use of Purina display materials and fixtures. Like I told you in the beginning, our success is the result of a lot of people working together. And one of the most important of these, I call the real boss, my wife. Her work in keeping our books is a big part of our operation. Incidentally, we use the Purina bookkeeping system. At regular intervals, we take a financial statement, which we discuss with Arch, our Purina partner. This analysis gives us a valuable check on where we're going and what adjustments we need to make to stay on a profitable basis. Then there's Forrest and Olin. We couldn't operate without these loyal employees. Our success is their success, too. None of us, myself included, has ever missed attending one of Purina's valuable monthly dealer employee training meetings. And what's more, we put into practice the things we've learned. We had built an ideal store. We had the right people and the organization to do the job. The only thing we lacked was the most important thing of all, customers. We knew that dairymen in our community had a real need for service and help that they weren't getting. We knew that our poultrymen, in fact all farmers in our community, had a need for the service we could give them. Service they weren't getting from anybody else. Take the dairymen for instance. We have 30 dairies in our market. Today we service 24 of these. How'd we do that? Well it wasn't easy. Most of these dairymen were buying feed from somebody else. But we knew that we had not only the products, the program, and the service to help them with their problems. We had more. We had a genuine personal interest in helping them make more money. After learning everything I could about the Purina Dairy Program, my first job was to get personally acquainted with all the dairymen in my territory. I soon found that they appreciated our interest in them. They welcomed our advice and help on their feeding and management problems. When they became convinced that we were more interested in helping them make money than in just selling a bag of feed, our store became their headquarters in town. We tried in every way possible to give them the kind of service they wanted to do the little things that make friends for your store, and regardless of conditions, to see that they never run out of chows. But most important of all, through group meetings, we showed them our complete Purina Dairy Program, a program by which we could help them with their cow troubles and help them make more money. We followed up this and other types of group meetings with calls, which laid the foundation for our regular sales route. We knew that the secret of building a successful route is to make these calls regularly each week with methodical regularity. We now operate two very profitable regular routes each week. Our plan is to train another man through feeding advisory, a man who will spend full time on these and the other routes we are building. We collect valuable proof from the records kept by our customers on the profits they make by feeding Purina. This proof brings excellent results when used in our newspaper advertising. In fact, these proof ads create almost as much interest as our live demonstrations.
Well, folks, that's how our business grew. From one car a month to 11 cars of Purina Chows a month the first year. Has it been profitable? Well, we're doing two and a half times our goal for the first year. I'm not complaining. Well, that's AJ's story. A story made possible by the close partnership and continuous collaboration of the Purina salesman and the Purina dealer working together to follow the Checkerdale program. But this is also a story of a lot of other people working together. People seriously interested in improving the results they get on their farms and who appreciate the help they get from the Purina dealer. And then people who are willing and who are trained to help the folks around the community get better results. It wasn't by following one part or several parts or most of the Purina Checkerdale program, but by doing them all, the whole job, that this remarkable growth was achieved. That nearly 11 cars of chows a month are being sold in a market that for years had been shipping only one car a month. Purina prospers only as A.J. and all the other A.J.'s in the Purina family prosper. The people in his store prosper only as the store prospers. And finally, it's the community that prospers most of all from this partnership. That's why we like to say we're all partners in prosperity.